Hi. <clears throat> Thanks for clicking. Coming at you today at 1.32 a.m. <clears throat> with a topic uh, which is titled probably something like Things I'm Grateful For. Obviously the reason I set the channel up was to have a, a venue really to bitch and moan and also hopefully connect with people, uh, a way to connect with people because I really find that there's I'm not connecting with people in any other way in real in the real world. So if I can have a outlet something uh, I don't want to pay or even do it for free, you know, like I'm not really into the whole uh, psychiatric, you know, uh, <clears throat> practice or whatever. I don't have any put any faith in. Uh, and this is a topic that'll come up later. Any faith in, you know, the system as far as you know psychiatry and all this kind of stuff. So I figure, you know, this is just as good or better of a way to, uh, you know, self therapeuticize um, than maybe, you know, actually talking to some real kook psychiatrist. So, and I've been watching <clears throat> several videos over the past week, days and weeks. Um, I did recently, I did a video which was my abuse story and uh, after I did my video I started searching other people's videos and it occurred to me that, uh, wow, it's like my, unfortunately my abuse story doesn't hold a candle to some other people's and it really made me think and that was the thing that made me think about this topic which was, you know, things I'm grateful for, you know, I go around in, in my in my loneliness and really having no friends and no family and, you know, bitch and moan on this channel about all kinds of stuff and this and that. And it occurred to me that, um, you know, after watching a lot of people's videos on, on mental st distress and physical distress and just seeing other people's videos, it occurred to me, you know, <sighs> There's a lot of positive things I don't really have in my life, but there's also a lot of negative things that I don't have in my life. And I mean, we're talking just crazy, you know, I've been watching videos of crazy exes and crazy spouses and cheating spouses and all kinds of stuff. And it occurred to me just as much as I don't have a lot of positive in my life, well, there's a good thing. I don't have a lot of, there's a lot of negative I don't have in my life as a result of not knowing people or having a girlfriend or you know, and stuff like that. So that all that stuff in the last several days and weeks, watching those videos prompted, made me really think and prompted this video, which is more on the positive side for a change. I thought it might be refreshing for some of you guys who might get sick of my bitching and moaning, you know. So that's it, the things I'm grateful for. And I guess we'll start off with, you know, as much as I was watching other people's abuse story videos and as much as goofy as it may sound, having, you know, in retrospect, having watched some other people's, you know, listen to other people's abuse stories. I mean, you know, although my having grown up with arguing parents and fighting parents and then being directly abused myself by a parent was no picnic. I mean, I'm grateful that it wasn't any worse. I mean, it could have been a lot worse. Like my mom wasn't, although she was crazy or could potentially get crazy at times, she wasn't a drunk or she wasn't a drug addict or she didn't have drunk drug addict boyfriends around that, you know, joined in the fun of abusing me. And, you know, as even though I was abused, it could have been a lot worse. And so I want to start things I'm grateful for off with that because that watching other people's abuse story topics is really what got me into this mindset. I'm, I'm grateful that although I was abused, it could have been a lot worse and I'm grateful it wasn't um, as bad as it could have been. And moving on, we'll kind of just go from being younger and just move like that across the timeline. Moving on, I am grateful for like, you know, those four years that I spent with my mom, <clears throat> you know, weren't all shit. I'm really surprised in retrospect, you know, how, how goofy and, you know, weird I am now compared to, or I guess I won't say weird, but how different I am compared to average people now. I'm surprised in retrospect how uh, many friends I had when I was a kid and I'm grateful for it then it occurred to me well if you know it occurred to me well what's more important you know like having you know no, having friends when you were a kid or having friends w when you're an adult and it occurred to me you know well, what is more important and I think that if anyone gave me a choice and said well look you can have kids you know you can pick one or the other have kids when you're or have friends when you're you know a kid growing up or you can have friends when you're like, you know, whatever, in your 30s on as an adult. Pick one. And I think I'd probably, at this point, experienced, you know, having experienced what I've experienced up until now, 
I probably pick friends when I was a kid versus friends when I'm an adult because I think, you know, obviously you're, you're becoming who you're going to be for the rest of your life and what happens the first whatever, I'd say, maybe the first 20 years of your life or something is really going to shape who you're going to be from then on. And I think that personally it's more important, in, in my opinion, to have experiences and friends and stuff like that when you're a kid <clears throat> to help shape you for better or worse, whatever. Um, you know, just to share growing up, with having people your age to share growing up with, you know, rather than just like, you know, not growing up with anyone, because that could potentially make you more goofy. I mean, I could be more goofy than I am had I not grown up with, you know, had I not had friends when I was a kid. So, you know, like I say, I'd pick... Uh, if I could pick one or the other, I'd pick having friends when I was a kid. And I was looking back, I'm very fortunate, or I feel very fortunate to have had as many friends as I did when I was a kid because probably a week hasn't gone by because I'm really sentimental. Sen I'm really sentimental. I always, you know, not a week goes by when I think about a, a great moment from when I was 11 or 12 or 13 or 14 with some of the kids and friends I knew at the time. And I think, you know, it, it, knowing kids and when I was a kid and, and people and when I was a teenager and stuff and having friends when I was in high school and stuff is something that even though I don't know anyone now or you know many people I just have a lesbian acquaintance who I see every now and then <clears throat> I really feel grateful that I had friends growing up because I think that's extremely important I'm also extremely grateful for just um, watching other people's videos like OCD Perfection she's like just Although on, on the surface she's all cute and she looks all healthy and whatever, it's like, I don't know what the hell her deal is because it seems like she's in the hospital every other day or week and it's just like she's on like billions of drugs at once and she's got a myriad of physical problems that, excuse me, that I uh, didn't even know existed and that watching her videos really makes me realize how healthy I am. I mean, I'm a healthy son of a bitch. My dad was a healthy son of a bitch as well, you know, and I'm, you know, physically just healthy as a son of a bitch, and I've always been that way, and it's very easy to take that for granted when you don't know anything else, and having been, like, had the flu or been having a cold, like, three times since, like, the fall, which isn't common for me, usually I get sick once a, w a year, if that, you know, when I get, when I got sick over the last several months and stuff, I just, like, gosh, and like I said before, it really makes you appreciate being healthy and I'm extremely grateful for uh, just being healthy and being you know sound mind enough to uh, you know basically live on my own and take care of my own whatever and you know just be able enough to uh, to take care of myself and that kind of stuff and be as healthy as I am because I'm like I say am I healthy as a son of a bitch so in closing I'm just grateful for all those things I'm grateful for you know, the security I had my basically my whole life. My parents were never, well, maybe, maybe my mom was, but my dad was never necessarily poor. We were never poor. I mean, I was really, you know, nothing that, you know, really I was really ever denied as far as essentials, and, you know, necessities. You know, I was always clothed and roof over your head, and there was a security when I went to live with my dad, and for for several several years afterwards and that's another thing i'm grateful for just the the connection you know my i had with my dad after my mom kicked me out when i was 12 and i went to live with my dad and the connection we formed over the several 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 over 10 years you know uh, up until the point when he died and i'm grateful for having had such someone who was so important and that i cared so much about and i truly believe that he cared greatly, deeply about me as well. Um, he was an unbelievable, uh, like, like, support. Like, like, support in the sense of, like, if I wanted to do something, he would support it. Like, if I wanted to, you know, the last big, the first feature and possibly the last feature, uh, as far as a movie goes, uh, you know, the first feature I made, I may I couldn't have made without his support. He was it was just me and him, and he was a PA. He was a executive producer. He he played a, some parts and or a part, and he helped with um, 
so many aspects of the production and stuff and just him being you know I'd cut a scene together and he'd always be the first person to see the scene cut and he'd laugh and he'd enjoy the scene and he'd always be amazed you know how well a particular scene came out and and he'd just be like oh wow you're never gonna top that and then the next scene he sees later on several days later he's like oh wow you're never gonna top that and but just long story short having that support from my dad um i greatly greatly appreciate and uh <sighs> So those are the big things that I can think of on camera. I'm sure there's tons more. Maybe a part two is in order someday if I can think of more. But those are some of the things that come to mind on camera, which are probably some of the most important things. Just really having, you know, despite the abuse and despite having to go to school, you know, I, I had a lot of great times and a lot of great years in my childhood and my teen years and a lot of not a whole lot of friends but the friends I had were very dear to me and they meant a lot to me and just my health and the fact that you know even though I may not I only you know might only have like a thumb and four fingers I'm grateful for having a thumb and four fingers and everything else physically that I have you know two feet two legs two feet I'm grateful physically for whatever I have even though I might not have what everyone else has I'm sure as hell it makes you grateful for what you do have and I'm like I say extremely healthy I've always been healthy you know I'm uh, I'm, I'm, I'm extremely grateful for uh, just although being potentially smart does have its social limitations I'm, I'm appreciative of, of my smarts in the sense that I can really, you know, I feel like I can more deeply appreciate things like music and art and movies and all the stuff that I enjoyed over my life and I'm grateful of my interest in movies and I'm grateful that I was able to pursue my interest in making films and videos over the years that all culminated basically like 20, 21 years later with all the, everything I learned from, you know, when I was a kid, 11 to like 31 you know, all culminated in that first and possibly last feature movie, you know, independent movie I made, and I'm just, you know, like I say, I mean, in a lot of ways I feel like a senior citizen, like, just minus the nursing home, like, I do feel like as, as, as much as I may have not have had as many friends and stuff and experiences as, as a lot of people have had, I have had quite a lot of experiences when I was a teenager and stuff and in my in my 20s and stuff just exploring my passion of making films and videos and stuff and I'm extremely grateful to have been intimate with a couple women and exactly like the kind of women I'm attracted to in the sense that they were you know both voluptuous women and uh, we'll just leave it at that but I mean you know being able to actually get with two women sexually that of the kind that you're attracted to is very a very positive experience without having to pay um, for it is a very positive experience so that's that's all I can think of right now I have you know running close to the end uh, end of the running time <sighs> you know when you really add everything together you know that I'm grateful for you realize that my life wasn't as bad as maybe I thought it was and uh, even if nothing good happens from here on out I'm extremely grateful for what has happened uh, up until this point and uh, I guess that does it thank you very much for watching